Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this super cool bracelet of my own. I don't really know what to call it right now. Um, I'm still in that stage, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it Pretty in Diamonds. So this bracelet is a variation of the Diamond Trio bracelet. But I really like this. I think it's really cute, kind of chunky, but I like it. Um, you can see there's small diamonds in the center. Oh, also I just realized that it matches the purple and yellow of my table. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it's it's got an extension part. Yeah, let's see what we don't need. Don't forget to please like and subscribe. And don't forget to please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bright Little Sun. So what we will need is we will need a loom. I'm using a rainbow loom. You can also use a wonder loom or any other looms. I don't even know what's out there nowadays, but... You also need a C-clip. I'm using this larger C-clip. And you also need a hook. I'm using this blue metal tipped hook from rainbowloom.com. Now, let's get you started. You also need as many bands as you want. Sorry, you guys, I forgot. I always forget to say this, but you will need bands. Um, so today, I'm using this medieval rose. Medieval red. And I'm also using gold. To get started, you will first have to put your loom together like this. So to do that, you're going to take your loom apart. If you don't know how to put your loom back together, you can go to my single chain bracelet tutorial because in the beginning I do show you how to do that. So you have a big piece and two small pieces. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to line up all of our pegs and just start snapping them in. Sorry, you can't see that, but I'm just putting them in here. All in one line. So you can put your hook here. So the two small ones go at the end. And the middle one goes in the center. Just like that. Sorry if there's any background noise. Okay, so then we're going to start with the arrows facing away from us, and we're going to lay our border bands. So for my border bands, I have chosen gold. In this one, I have I used white, just for reference. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to start by placing... It will be hard with a border here. That's why you want pretty stretchy bands. And what I mean by that is just don't... Try not to get off-brand. If you have the choice to get Rainbow Loom brand, um, like these, wait, oh, sorry, well, you know, like the packages with Rainbow Loom, like Rainbow Loom brand actual packages, please do because it will be better for everyone. Okay, so I'm going to start at the end of my loom with the arrows pointing away from me. So we're going to take our first band and we're going to stretch it from the middle peg to the right. It'll be more stretching than normal when laying border bands, but it is basically the same. So we're just going to place bands all the way up the right side of our loom. Okay, so now I've finished placing the last bands on the second clasp pin on the right side. Now we're going to take one more band and loop it, put it, place it back to the center peg just like that. So this is what your loom should look like. Just like that. So we're going to go back to the start again. Again, sorry if you can't see that too well. Um, and we're going to take another band and we're going to do the exact same thing, stretching it to the left this time. So we're basically making the loom symmetrical, placing bands all up along the sides. Also, please check out my friends' um, YouTube channels like Here's Michael and a couple others, yeah. Also, stay positive. Check out that, too. Okay, so I placed my last band back to the center pin, and I'm just going to go ahead and push them down. Okay, so this is what your loom should look like now. Completely, yeah, completely symmetrical. And so now we're going to start placing our other bands on the sides. So you can either 
do a complete half and half bracelet like this one, or you can do switching it. You'll, you'll get what I mean by that later. So I have my bands laid out here, and sorry guys, I forgot to mention that you're also going to need extra color of your border bands for the center line up here. It's hard to see, but it is there, the white in the center. So for me, that's so, my goal. You're going to choose, if you're doing half and half, you're going to choose one color, or any, if you're doing half and half, or if you're doing zigzagging, choose your first color. So this applies for everybody. Choose the first color. I'm doing pink for my first color. And we are going to place a band here to here. There are many different color schemes you could do with this. For example, you could do the same bands here and here that you did here and here, and do a whole diamond with one color, and then switch to the next color. So that you could do that, but today I'm teaching you how to do the half and a half bracelet just like this one. So for me, for the half and half bracelet, I'm going to start by placing a band right here, outlining the band that we just placed underneath. So, and I'm going to place, now I'm going to place my border band going straight up the middle in a vertical direction. And so now I'm going to place one more band right here. So it's kind of an arrow pointing towards me. So next, we're just going to do the exact same thing, placing up here, going back to the center pin with the gold one, placing back with the center and to the right. So if you've watched my tutorial for my ocean eye bracelet, this is kind of similar because you can tell it has like a pattern, so it's left out, forward, out, right, out, left, in, forward, in, right, in. Um, so now we're going to place our next band. This is where you have a choice. You can either take the color that you did on the right side and do it on the left side here and do the, the other half of the bracelet, or you can stay like I'm doing with the pink on one side, the gold in the center, and the red on the right. That's, that's what, that will get you a look similar to this one. Okay, so I, I'm just going to teach you guys how to do this way, but it is completely up to you whatever color scheme you use. So I'm gonna show you a couple more times how to do this, but basically this was one diamond. We're just going to do that again. Placing back in the center, back in the center. And, of course, back in the center. Don't forget to keep pushing bands down as you go. Okay, so we have completed another diamond. I'm going to show you one more time. Left out. Sorry about that. So, like I said, left out. Forward. Out. And, or forward. And, right out. Then, left in. Forward or up or in, whatever you want to call it, and then right in. So now we're going to um, continue this process of the diamond making all the way up to the top of our lip. I'm going to fast forward from here, but if you would like, you can pause the video and rewind if you don't get the diamond part. Okay, so now I'm going to place my last part of the diamond, although it does look like the diamond is already completed because of our um, section here. You can also see that the gold kind of acts as a triple single, and these bands kind of act as the um, vertical bands, sorry, the vertical bands, or sorry, horizontal bands. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Okay, so placing the last bands, pink in, gold in, oops, and red, oops, sorry and red in, just okay, like that. So this is what our loom should look like. Diamonds going all the way up. And now we're going to place one more band, which is going to be the color of our border, in my case gold, and we're going to cap band, looping it over itself twice. And, oops, sorry. Just place it on the last pin right there. And now we can start the hooking process by flipping our loom around. So here I have my hook, and I'm ready to use it. 
So we're going to start by going in the cap band and looping the same way we placed the bands. So we're going to start looping all of the diamonds first, then we're going to go back and loop the sides. So I'm going to just move the cap band just to the side so I can just go in a bit better. Push back the cap band, grab the top band, and it should go to the left. Then we're going to go back in, grab the top band again, and it should go to the center. And then go back in, grab this band, and it will go to the right. So this is one half of the diamond so far. Then we're going to go in on the far left pin and grab the top band, pushing back uh, the other red band, the one that we just hooked. And it's going to go to the middle, then we're going to push back this band, grab the bottom band, and go forward. And to the far right, grab the top pink band and loop it over. So we have hooked one diamond so far. I'm going to show you one more time. So. Pushing back this big, almost acting like a cat band here, and grab the top band. And it should be red, and it should go out to the left. Well, you can use different colors, but then go back and grab the next top band, and it is, for me, it is gold, and it will loop forward. Well, you can see my uh, bands are kind of coming off here. That's okay. And grab the next band and loop it to the right. Go to the far left, grab the red band, and loop it forward. Grab the bottom band in your, of your border color, loop forward. And far right, grab this band and loop it forward. Now I'm going to fast forward from here, but if you don't get it, please go back. So now I am almost done looping the last diamonds. And now I'm done with the diamonds. So this is what your loom should look like. I'll give you a bird's eye view here. Something like that. The diamonds do look a bit like stingrays, if that helps you. But, so now we're going to go back to the start. Okay, so here's the start of my bracelet, and now we're going to loom the sides. So, I'm going to show you for only three steps, because this is a fairly simple move here. So, you're going to push back the cap band, grab the top band, top gold band, or border band, and loop it to the right, or to wherever it, nor it naturally goes, which is like, yeah. Um, so then we're going to go in, push back top three bands, or top three sides of bands, grab the very bottom band, and loop it forward. Just, oops, just like that. Going through these bands, grabbing the top band, and looping it forward. I'm going to show you one more time. Okay, so pushing back here, grabbing the bottom band, and moving it from this peg forward. Now I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so I have finished looming the right side, and now I'm on the left on my last band, going in, grabbing it, and going over here. So now you can see that this, um, this, uh, uh, peg here, on the last pin bar here, it ha is holding the whole bracelet and all of the bands. So we are going to choose a color by choice. I'm using pink and red for my single chain. So, we'll, yeah, so like I said, we'll be making a single chain, which is the extension part here. So that means pushing in with the back of our hook, so if you can't see that too well, my hand's blocking it, and going through all of them and grabbing this band and pulling back through. It might seem hard at first, but when you when you get to be an experienced loomer, this is like, it's like a sixth sense for you. Okay, so now I'm just going to loom a simple single chain. If you don't know how to do this, oops. <laughs> If you don't know how to do this, please refer to my single chain video. So anyways, you're just looming a simple single chain. I'll come back to you when I'm done Okay, with there we go. I fixed it. Okay, so um, we are going to need six bands of each color for a normal wrist size like me, like mine. Um, so 
so the um, bracelet is 12 uh, bands long. Okay, so I have a red here, and I'm going to add my pink. That's three bands. And then a red. Okay, I'll come back to you when I'm done with my 12 band long. Okay, so here I am with my finished 12 band long um, single chain bracelet. So this is when our secret comes in. We're just going to move this band up here and just grab it with the C-clip. Sorry if you can't see too well, but it's just putting a C-clip on. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I'm just putting the two, the one band, two sides of it, on my C-clip just like that and taking my hook out of it. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take it off the loom. Okay, so now I'm just finishing taking it off the loom. This kind of came off, so. Okay, so now I have my bracelet. It does look a bit odd right now, but you just gotta stretch it out. And it starts to look better. So yeah, this was our bracelet for today. I'm just going to hook the cat band onto the other end of the C-clip or S-clip, whatever you're using. Just like that. And yeah, so I really like the way this bracelet came out. Um, but my definite favorite is the color scheme on this one. So yeah, let's try them on. So yeah, so this is what the bracelets look like on, um, on me. Uh, so yeah, I just really like the way this looks. It is kind of reversible, I suppose. But it does switch the colors around. Um, so yeah, I really love these bracelets. They're just super fun to make. Um, so yeah, this was the video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like the way these turned out. Thank you and bye.